All right. Hey. Well, that's Got a good one. Hi, Laura here. Hope you're having as wonderful a day as I am. I know a lot of folks are probably still a little gloomy or uncertain about the election and where the country is potentially heading, but I just want to say that as people of faith, we have no business being downcast or worried. And there's another reason I'm happy, which I'm really excited to tell you about. Chris and I are going to be married in a week from now. Right, Chris? It's a week. Absolutely. A week. Chris has been really busy keeping up with his classwork and doing wedding-related stuff, which is why we're here in the lab. So we've had questions from a bunch of friends about how we got to know each other and how that works in our community, the Bruderhof. So in this video, I and we want to try to answer some of those. No. Chris and I were really good friends and we enjoyed spending time together with other young people from our community. Then at some point, we both felt that God was leading us to a deeper relationship with each other. Because as believers, we realized that marriage is a very solemn and unique commitment. We went and asked for advice from our parents and pastors how to go forward with our relationship. So over the past year or so, we've been corresponding, taking walks, reading and discussing the scripture and other books, and doing our best to really find out who the other person is and whether marriage is God's will for us. Chris, do you want to add anything? Uh, yeah. Well, obviously, I liked Laura a lot and wanted to get to know her, but what was most important to us was that our relationship would end up bringing glory to God and not just about giving us emotional fulfillment. So that's why instead of dating, we spent our time building a strong foundation for life together, which will help us to remain faithful for life. Dating is more about like immediate gratification or individuals seeing if they're compatible to one another. What we've been doing since meeting a couple years ago is spending time with each other, getting counsel from our pastors within our community, and seeing whether our marriage will honor God. Falling in love, I think, or whatever, is not the whole picture, right? Right, but it's also a great part of it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we actually met in his sister's house. She's my friend, and I just enjoyed going to their house and hanging out. I often would babysit our kids, and we would just like cook food together and, and do fun stuff like that. And Chris would come over, and I really enjoyed how you interacted with the kids. It was always good food. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also really appreciated how respectful he was to me. And we were just really good friends. And I think you also teased me and made me laugh, which I actually enjoyed. <laughs> so she loves life. Uh, I've always hated boring, and that's never a problem when she's around. I also have always felt that a true Christian faith has a vibrant and joyful expression in daily life. Because, hey, it is the good news. And both of us are members in the church community here, so right away there's a common basis of faith and commitment. Yeah, we've both been baptized and taken lifetime vows of faithfulness to our brothers and sisters here. Absolutely. Purity in our relationship before marriage is extremely important to us. The Bible is very clear about chastity before marriage, and we take that very seriously. That's also why dating or having a casual approach to romantic relationships does not work for us as Christians. Most importantly, we are continuing to do our best to build a foundation for a life together by spending a lot of time in nature, talking together, getting advice from others, and also praying together. I'm a lucky bride because I don't have to worry about planning the practical details of my wedding, and our community will be helping us put together some awesome celebrations. We've had some really good ones already. We, we sure have. We definitely have. And so I don't have to worry about a fancy dress or organizing bridesmaids or catering or guest lists or anything like that. Uh, but we did decide a best man, right? Yeah, I mean, you have to share Your who that Ray? is. Yeah, <laughs> okay. my friend Ray from the bacon video. <laughs> But seriously, just concentrating on the fact that a new part of my life is starting and that's what I'm getting ready for right now. Uh, the actual ceremony is pretty simple. We have a special worship service geared towards our wedding. And at the end, uh, we'll stand up, we'll make our promises to lifelong faithfulness in marriage, and then we're gonna exchange our rings. 
And then we'll be taking off for a week after our wedding to spend some time together and getting used to the idea of being married. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Um, not exactly sure where that'll be, but it's gonna be somewhere beautiful. Uh, more fishing? Actually, I think it'll be probably less fishing. 